Hi. Daniel Carlin, right? Sorry, do I know you? I'm, I'm Penny. Penny Dunphy. I'm from St. John's Clinic. Look, I'm just here to check up on how you're doing. Doing fine. Uh, nothing new. Thanks for stopping by, yeah? Uh, well, actually, I'd like to come in. <laughs> I really have to be thorough with these things, you know? Of course you do. May I? Make yourself at home. Um, so, how are you finding the apartment, Anna? I heard you got in after your accident. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. If you're listening, I'm sorry about the mess. I had some friends over last night and haven't cleaned. Uh, it's fine, I'm just here for a chat. So, do many of your friends and family visit? Besides Tom and Alex, no. I don't see my parents much, so... It's just me, I'm pretty sure. I see. Oh, can I sit? How's your memory holding up? It's okay, Daniel. I know your story. We can talk about it if you want. It's hard. You know, sometimes I find it hard to remember how I got here most mornings. Or something so simple like a birthday or Christmas. It's just hard. Well, would you say it's better or worse than before? I don't know. I don't recall any other days, so I don't know if I'm getting any better. Isn't it your job to know? Well, yeah, that's what I'm here to find out. But, I mean, you say you don't remember anything. Nothing. What about prior to your accident? Sometimes I just get these flashes and I... Flashes? Yeah, just Flashes, like... Flashes of what? What kind of flashes? Like, for example, I know I was drinking with Tom and Alex last night, but all I have is flashes of us drinking. Does that explain it enough for you? Don't you need to be writing this down? Do you ever get flashes of your accident? Do you remember who you killed? I'm sorry, but can I see some form of ID? I'm sorry. Look, Daniel, I didn't mean to upset you. No, who do you think you are? Look, I'm done talking to you. I'm just trying to see your progress. Get out! Now! Yep, still no progress. Yeah, I know, but I can't keep doing this anymore. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon.
What are you doing? Do you remember me, Daniel? At all? No. Sorry, I don't. Why don't you? I don't actually know. You suffered severe brain damage. And you lost the ability to make any new memories when your car skidded off the road. But there were three other people in that car. Two of them died. Wait, how would you... Were you? I was right there, Daniel. Wait, what? And Tom and Alex were in the back. No, 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 that's impossible. I was just with them last night. We, we were drinking together. Yeah, you were, but not last night. You were drinking with them the night that they died. The night that you drove us all into the ravine. No, 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 I... And you know, the saddest part is that you can't even remember any of it. A few weeks ago, I even got you to remember again. And I thought, things can go back to normal. But they haven't. Who are you? I'm your girlfriend, Daniel. <laughs> Please, come on. You have to remember for us. Sorry. This is all my fault. I'm going to forget what I did to them. And to you. I've just made you hurt even more. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I know. But Daniel, this isn't the first time that you've remembered. I got through to you like this before. And then the next time I saw you, you'd just forgotten all over again. I can't keep doing this. What are you saying? I'm saying I can't do this anymore. I love you, Daniel. But I can't keep loving someone who doesn't even know I exist. It's just not worth it. It's just, it isn't. Go. God knows I've caused you enough pain as it is. Let it be your turn to forget me. You don't deserve any of this. Promise me, Penny. God knows I've caused you enough pain as it is. Please, for me.
sorry, don't worry. Sorry for bothering you. 